that sound. God, I love that sound. Today we're finding out what happens when you take a classic persimmon one wood and put a modern graphite extra stiff 60 gram shaft on it. So the knock on these old persimmon heads is that the, the heads were just fine. Maybe you'll get a little extra spin because they have a couple more grooves here. Uh, but mostly what made them not have the same carry was just the weight of the shaft and actually slowed down the head speed, which led to less yardage. So what I decided to do was take a fiberglass shaft, put it on this one wood and put it to the test. And uh, I threw it up on the golf subreddit and uh, people seem genuinely interested. I, I scoured YouTube, couldn't find any videos. I know they've done graphite shafts in the past, but the new modern graphite may be a little bit differently. So uh, I've already hit a few balls, gotten comfortable with the club. I think the results are gonna surprise you. I had quite a bit of fun doing it. Uh, for comparison today, I'm gonna be using a TaylorMade M3. I've uh, lofted it up to 11 to kind of match the older wood. Uh, now, granted, this isn't something most guys, with my, I'm a 12 handicap. Uh, I usually have about a 250 to 280 carry, uh, so I would usually loft it down to nine, but for the sake of the test, I wanted to just uh, kind of match the older wood. Now, I will have to lo uh, lower the T on the persimmon wood, but um, yeah, standard M3 here, 440 cc's, extra stiff, exact same shaft, exact same length, exact same grip width and mid-size. They're uh, 46 and a half inches in length, so about an inch over standard. So we're gonna pick up a little extra club head speed there. We're gonna do a comparison between, I'm gonna do six shots with each and then the best four and uh, see how they stack up. What do you think's gonna happen, huh? Do you think there's gonna be a very major difference? Uh, we're gonna be hitting vice tour balls. This is a three piece sirloin ball. I think it's from last year. I think they have different ones now. Um, not exactly a pro V1, but pretty darn close to it. And for the price and value, I love what vice is doing. So I support them and what Eric Anders Lang and scratch golf is doing. Um, yeah big fan of what they're doing so I thought I'd use their balls to do this test let's get to it so that one came out a little bit low but I made good contact I hit the center of the face it had a little bit of a fade bias 12 degrees aloft 3,000 backspin a little bit more backspin than most people are looking for in a driver uh, but like I said, I've lofted this up to 11 and I generally generate uh, generally gen uh, quite a bit of backspin. So here we go. All right, so that's six shots with the M3. I kind of rushed through it, didn't try too hard to focus in between each swing, but overall the results are pretty consistent or average what I would normally do on a course. So you know, I, th I think we'll carry those results uh, for the final you know, breakdown or summary. All right, let's grab our persimmon fiberglass, or sorry, graphite extra stiff. And uh, let's do six shots with this and then we'll see what happens. Look at that, I'm already picking up a little bit of screen tearing. <laughs> That's all right. That's all the backspin I'm getting into the net. So going into these six shots, I just want to mention that I'm not going to be swinging out of my socks here. I'm just going to be swinging solid hits, trying to make good contact. The sweet spot's a little bit smaller on these older clubs, a lot bit smaller, a little less forgiving. Uh, if you'd like to see like a long drive video and I'll pull out my game driver, I actually run a Wilson Triton driver as my gamer. Uh, and I could compare that to this and really swing for it. If you like that, hit a like on this video. It's not like we're going to get a thousand views or anything, but Either way, I think it's a fun test. I'm happy to do more. I like this kind of content. Let's get to it. Ooh, that sound. God, I love that sound. Uh, I caught it a little on the heel, 
but um, you can see it, it, it corrected itself. Not bad, 257 carry, it's 276 total yardage. Uh, I could do a little better than that. A little bit in the stance, a little front of the stance here. It's just weird looking down on it. That one felt okay, might have hit a little low in the club. Yeah, and it's coming off right. Okay, I mean, still, that's gonna find a fairway, but it didn't get the yardage I was looking for. Lost a lot of yardage there. That could just be a forgiveness factor. All right, let's try a little more, aim right for the sweet spot. Ah, a little bit okay. I mean, I feel like I sliced that one a bit, but we'll see. Yeah, that's not, that's not too unforgiving. Yeah, I got a little ahead of the ball there. And 237, okay. Little 500 side spin, 4,000 backspin, 3,900 backspin. So I'm picking up a lot more backspin than I'd like, but that's kind of what's to be expected on this face. It's a, it's a really grooved old face. Oh, now that was well struck. Yeah, that sounded good, that looked good, felt good. I mean, that's one of the reasons you'll play an old persimmon is just because when you do smack it right in the nuts or on the screws, it feels fantastic. But 250 uh, carry, 270 total yardage, 3,600 backspin, pretty solid strike. Pretty happy with that one. 18 degrees of loft though. It's really getting too much loft here. I'd like to do a test if I had a, a little lower lofted one would. Yeah, that one came out a little right there, leaked off. All right, let's do last shot. Try to hit it right in the nuts. Good, solid, you know, fairway finding swing here. Let's see if we can't get one straight down the middle. Ah. Yeah, that came out a little low. Struck it well, but just didn't get the loft I needed. Well, those are the results. I mean, it's really not that bad. I mean, truly, I, I think if I was a little more comfortable with that old persimmon, I could probably tighten up that gap a little bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, let's see the dispersion here. So both clubs played pretty similar. They both had a bit of a fade bias, which is kind of how I play. Yeah, that's that's pretty consistent. All right, so you can see that the, the driver, the M3 with the extra stiff, same shafts in both of them, uh, was carrying, uh, what did it say, carry? Well, total yardage was 291, which is pretty good. I mean, that's that's usually what I'm hitting out on the course, maybe a little longer when I have a lower lofted club in my game club, but I'm pretty happy with those results for the comparison. And then for the persimmon wood, I mean, 257. So we lost about 30, 34 yards. That's really not that bad. That's about 10%, uh, a little, little more than 10%, which is a little actually less than I thought. I thought it'd be about 15, 20%. I had a lot of faith in the persimmon going into it, but you know, I, I could redo it and get a little closer. I think, um, you know, if a little more practice, a little more comfort with the club itself, I probably could, uh, but I'm pretty happy with those results for the sake of this test. So anyway, shout out to FootJoy, by the way, amazing customer service, TaylorMade too. Big fan of those guys. They're great, great for the golf community, support those brands. And uh, if you'd like to see a long drive challenge of the persimmon graphite monster franken club versus my gamer wilson triton um put a like on the video we'll try it out all right we'll see you guys next time